I'm Peter Molnar. I'm a, I'm a solid earth scientist. That is to say, I study below the surface mostly, although I also study the oceans and the atmospheres. Atmosphere. Uh, I'm, uh, I teach, therefore I'm called a professor here at the University of Colorado. I teach in the Department of Geological Sciences and I'm a fellow at the Cooperative Institute for Research in Environmental Sciences called Ceres here on campus. Um, yesterday, I, I, yesterday I was home. Actually, I wasn't planning to be home, but um, I had to be for other reasons. And the phone rang, and and uh, this woman said, "Well, this is a call from Sweden, and we want to know: uh, Will you be home in an hour and a half? We'd like to call you back." So I said, "Yeah, I'll be home." Um, I had just been out for exercise, so I quick took my shower and I was home. And they called back and told me about this. So I, I didn't know. Actually, at lunch, uh, Sarah, my wife, said, uh, what do you think they want? And I said, oh, they probably want me to sit on some, some committee of some kind. I, I, was, I have to be, you know, if Lou Gehrig hadn't said he was the luckiest man in the world, I'd be saying I'm the luckiest man in the world. I do say I'm the luckiest man in the world, actually. My wife hears it every day. I, I uh, couldn't have timed things better. I entered graduate school just as the the main elements of plate tectonics were becoming known, and I left graduate student when the problem was solved. I was there watching the whole the whole of plate tectonics unfold in front of me, right there as a student. And and because it all was done while I was a student, you could see as a student I could see that. It was time to move on. I had to do something else, so I moved on. I, plate tectonics was finished. What was left? The continents were left. The continents, plate tectonics doesn't work very well in the continents, and we had all these tools we had used in plate tectonics, so we turned to the continents, and where in the continents do you go? Well, uh, Western North America was crawling with people. I wasn't going to go there. The most outstanding solid earth geophysicist for the last 50 years, probably, had already laid claim to the whole of the Mediterranean region, all of the Alps, Pyrenees, Turkey, and all that. So what was left? Eastern Asia. So I thought, well, I'll study Eastern Asia. I think what people don't appreciate about these prizes is how much work other people go to to get people prizes. People have to do a lot of work, and they've got to get a lot of people supporting you. So in this case, um, I got this because I have really good friends who are quite articulate, and uh, they went to a lot of trouble. And the nicest part is that they're as happy as I am. <laughs> how, uh, how do you feel this morning? I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs>